Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is part six of my global company tutorial series. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome back for part six of my tutorial series on global companies. So today we're going to go over the potato washer and the potato sorter. So um, those icons are going to look like these two guys right here on the left. You have the potato washer icon on the right. You have the potato sorter. So, I mean, that looks like the potato sorter and that looks like the potato washer. So <laughs> it all makes sense. So we're going to go over how to use these guys and kind of why you would use them or what their benefits are. So let me go ahead and get those icons off the screen real quick. So the potato washers right here, this guy um, takes in, well, actually, we'll go over that in a second. Let's go in the store and take a look at these guys. So if you go over to placeables, they're going to be under global company, potato washer and potato sorter. Potato washer is 18,000 to buy, and the potato sorter is 2,800 to buy. Now, if you want these to run kind of smoothly, you need about three potato sorters per every one potato washer. Now, you can just use the potato washer if you want. Um, however, to use the potato sorter, you need the product the potato washer creates. So it adds essentially two new crops to the game as well. So we have washed potatoes and premium potatoes. So notice these prices. What is my economy mode in normal? Okay. I say normally it's a little bit high. Well, I guess it kind of depends, as you can see here. Uh, 460, 557. That's pretty good for potatoes. And then 900. Yeah, you're never going to get that for regular potatoes. Regular potatoes are uh, down here, you know, you know, 400 actually is pretty high for potatoes there. But yeah, so it raises essentially if you wash the potatoes using the potato washer, it will raise the price a little bit. And then if you take washed potatoes, you put them into the potato sorter and you get premium potatoes, which are worth the most. So um, the very basics of this machine here, it's just like any other global company machine where you just have to insert stuff and then it's going to produce something for you. So this will take 15,000 liters of regular potatoes and it'll also take 10,000 liters of water. So if we go into the global company menu here, which by the way, two things I want to mention about this screen that I forgot to mention. If I have a factory selected, it'll show me on the map here where it is at. So if you have, let's say you had one over here and one over here, it could easily tell you which one it is. You also can rename these. So if I want to rename this, I could rename this to be, uh, oh, let me get caps lock off, potato washer uh, farmer cop. I don't know, something ridiculous if you wanted. Well, I guess there's a limited space. So if it'll fit, potato washer farmer, and it'll put in parentheses there. So yeah, so you can change the names of all these just by hitting the rename button down there, which I did forget to mention um, in previous episodes. So. If there's something in here, you can rename it. Now, um, going about these, if we look at, let's say we'll just look at this one here, if we open the overview menu, it's disabled right now. So again, it's gonna hold 15,000 liters of potatoes and 10,000 liters of water. Um, it will go through the potatoes a lot faster than the water, so you don't have to fill it up too often with water. Um, and then it can hold up to 15,000 liters of washed potatoes out the other side. Now, the potato sorter, will intake washed potatoes, so it can hold 4,000 liters of washed potatoes, and it outputs premium potatoes and pig food. So, um, yes, pig food, and we'll go over that a little bit more in a second. So these are kind of what we're after. So what it does, it takes these, and it takes about 10% of it. Well, it's, it's like 5 to 10%. It's a very little amount of it, and it makes it into pig food instead. So essentially, these are the non-premium potatoes that it's sorted out that you can feed your pigs. And yes, it gives you just regular pig food. It doesn't give you just potatoes you should feed to your pigs. It gives you pig food. Um, so premium potatoes and pig food. Now we'll go over how to unload these out of here because there's a little bit different. It's you're spawning pallets out with the pig food compared to their things. But uh, let's go into how to use this bad boy right here. So uh, if we go ahead, let's go ahead and add some water in first. So if I'm in here, it's not even going to take all this water. I'm just going to put some of it in. Doesn't matter how much. It's not going to take a lot of it. So, well, actually, you know what? For demonstration purposes, let me just go ahead and fill this thing all the way up. So I'll wait for it to get through some of this, and then I will fill this thing back up with water real quick. And we'll get this thing completely full just so we can kind of take a look at um, some of the values as far as uh, how much it's going to use of different commodities to produce what it's going on. And then we'll talk about that little setup over there in the far corner. So if you see that, we'll talk about that at the very end. Uh, to kind of go over a way to kind of automate this a little bit more. Now it's not entirely automated, but it does help out quite a bit. So, okay, we have put that bad boy in there. Now, the easiest way to put potatoes in here without anything special is use a front loader, a wheel loader, telehandler, anything like that. You see this bucket? You just come up here and they dump right in. So we just put 940 potatoes in there. So we're going to hop out. If I go into this menu here, it is working. 
Well, it should be working. Oh, I put washed potatoes into it. Oh, dear. Or no, maybe it already washed them. Also possible. Let me go ahead and fill this back up with potatoes here. There we go. And I'll try to get it somewhat loaded a little bit. Perfect. Should be working now. All right, there we go. So this thing will do 30,000 liters per hour, which that might actually have gotten an update because I didn't think it was that much before. So this thing will cook through this in a half hour if you have this thing full. So it really washes potatoes. Now, after the potatoes are washed, so I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. It's pretty much going to be done now. So it's going to have those potatoes washed. Now, you can come under here with a trailer and unload washed potatoes, but this is easier, and I'll show you why in a second. If you come under here, just hit R, it'll fill it up, wash potatoes, then come here, and this can be a little bit peculiar. This is the potato sorter, so it takes potatoes in at this end. A little finicky. We'll let that keep going to get those in there. If we open up into this menu here, if I can find out how to do it here. There we go. So this thing processes 10,000 liters per hour. Okay, so it is still three of these that you need to keep up. So it's going to process those. So I'm going to kind of speed things up a little bit. Okay, and it's already done. So let's take a look at what we have. So pig food, 75 liters, 864. So again, it's a small amount. Now we can't spawn any pallets. Once you get this filled with at least 1,000, you can spawn 1,000 um, liter big bags of pig food at a time. So you can do up to two um, and so on and so forth. You get how that kind of works. So that's how the potato sorter works. And that is how the potato washer works. So that is, that's most of it. That's kind of the basis of, of how this works. Um, it's kind of a way just to increase your profit from potatoes, doing something that's probably fairly realistic. But this, again, as you saw, is a little bit kind of fiddly to kind of uh, work with. So let's jump over here to my contraption, if you will. Um, oh, actually, we do need the uh, front loader. Let me hop in it real quick. It can't be completely automated, but you can definitely make it a little bit more automated. So the first step of this process that I have over here Oh, and I guess I should explain as well to get uh, well, I guess I can explain it over here to get the premium potatoes out. I need to explain that in a second as well. So coming over here, what I have and there's different ways to do this. You could back a trailer up to this and you could put potatoes in here if you wanted to. Or you could do what I'm going to do right now, which is I'm just going to use this to put potatoes in there just because I have it available to me. So we'll go ahead and get potatoes and I'm using the easy development commands to kind of help me do this demonstration. So if I dump them in here, I already have this set up. The potatoes are going to go from there. They're going to go onto this conveyor belt, and this conveyor belt is going to drop them into here. Eventually, once they get to the top of the conveyor belt. There we go. Now, the other way, if you wanted to have a big pile of potatoes on the ground, you could use this conveyor belt here. This guy right here. This guy picks it up directly off the ground, and that's why I have it over here. So the, the only problem with this portion of the conveyor belt, this only holds sugar beets and regular potatoes. It won't do washed potatoes or, you know, premium potatoes. So essentially that just gets it through to the next stage. So you can kind of back a trailer up of potatoes there, or you can dump potatoes on the ground and do it that way. And it'll automatically fill as needed. Um, you're still putting water in at the same point. I pre-filled this up. Come under here and get washed potatoes. I can now just come over here and dump these on the ground. And now if I dump them on the ground there, they're going to get picked up by this pickup, which is now going to put them into the potato sorter. Just a moment. There we go. And it's going to sort it through. So I can speed up time just a little bit here. All right, it's done for at least some of it. So it's got potatoes sorted through. Now, one way to pick up the premium potatoes is pull here with a smaller trailer. It doesn't work on, like, I tried a semi-truck trailer, it didn't work. And then if I just hit R, it'll load the trailer with premium potatoes, or at least whatever's in it. As you can see, the trailer's going up. Now, another way you can load up with premium potatoes is if you just pull up with your front loader and put the bucket in this area, um, and then hit R once again, it will load it with premium potatoes. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, let's see here how much this have pig food-wise. Let's get this process through so I can show you the spawning of the pig food out of it. So give me just one second and I'll get that set up. All right, now another thing to note real quick before we talk about that is you can just have a trailer here with a vehicle on it and then just have the trailer fill up with wash potatoes then just dump them on the ground. That might actually be quite a bit faster. So that's another option. This is just, it's makeshift. You guys can take this concept and you guys can kind of run with it. And of course, you also could have three of these, one going that way, one going this way, and one going out that way, and you could keep up with the production there. 
So you could always multiply this a little bit. But so we do have some pig food here. Now I'm going to see if I can, I should be able to spawn it theoretically. Now if I go down here, we have, so if I hit one, oh, it's not going to let me spawn it. Let me see if I can get right there. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way a little bit. Be a little finicky because if you're blocking the space it wants to put the pallet, then it's not going to let you get the pallet out. So let me actually just do this. This might be a little bit easier. Come in here, we can open this up. Pig food. Ooh, it's not letting me do it. So that means this guy is probably blocking it. And by the way, I did some calculations. So 8% of the potatoes. So if you put 1,000 potatoes through here, 80 will become uh, pig food, and the other 920 will become uh, premium potatoes. So that's just to give you kind of a perspective on that. All right, let's try that once more. There we go. Now that it's clear, and it just, excuse me, just spawns a big bag of pig food. So that's how you get that out of there. That is everything you have to know. If you have any questions about this, this is probably one of my favorite global company mods. I use this probably more than any other one or just about. I mean, there's some basic ones I use all the time, but uh, this one I like quite a bit. I've used it in a gameplay series, used it on my Sandy Bay series, and I'll probably end up using it again just because I like it quite a bit. So anyhow, guys, if you enjoy, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop, folks. Thank you for coming and watching.